The Federal Bureau of Investigation is searching for fugitives located all over the world who are suspected of doing illegal acts. The FBI is offering monetary rewards for any information that can lead to the capture of these individuals. Although the FBI has already supplied some of the information requested, any additional cooperation would be extremely helpful in the agency's efforts to bring these perpetrators to justice. Who are the most wanted criminals in the world, and why do they remain at large? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at the FBI's most wanted criminals in 2022. Yeah, you heard it right. The following people are currently featured on the most wanted list maintained by the FBI. Jason Derrick Brown The FBI will pay a reward of up to $200,000 for information that directly leads to the arrest of Jason Derrick Brown. In November of 2004, he was involved in a murder and an armed robbery in Phoenix, Arizona, and he's wanted for these crimes. In the United States, Brown has family in the states of California, Arizona, and Utah. In the past, he has been to both France and Mexico. Alexis Flores The Federal Bureau of Investigation will pay a reward of up to $100,000 for information that directly leads to the arrest of Alexis Flores. He is wanted for questioning in connection with the allegations that he played a role in the kidnapping and subsequent death of a young girl who was 5 years old in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the year 2000. There are Honduran connections to Flores. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez the Transnational Organized Crime Rewards Program of the United States Department of State is offering a reward of up to $1 million to anyone who can provide information that directly leads to the arrest of Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez. He's wanted for questioning in connection with an allegation that he was involved in the interstate stalking and conspiracy to conduct murder for hire of a male victim who was 43 years old on May 22, 2013 in South Lake, Texas. He's also known as Elgato. Monterey and Mexico City are also possible destinations for VRL Hernandez because he has connections to both of these Mexican cities. Rafael Caro Quintero The Narcotics Reward Program of the United States Department of State is now offering a reward of up to $20 million to anyone who can provide information that leads to the arrest and or conviction of Rafael Caro Quintero. He's wanted for questioning in connection with allegations that he was involved in the kidnapping and subsequent killing of a Drug Enforcement Administration special agent in Mexico in the year 1985. In addition to this, it is believed that he maintains an active key leadership position inside the Sinaloa cartel as well as the Caro Quintero drug trafficking organization in the Badiraguato region of Sinaloa, Mexico. It is well known that Caro Quintero is a member of the Sinaloa cartel and that he hangs out in the Badiraguato neighborhood of Sinaloa, Mexico. Caro Quintero also had past ties to Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, and Costa Rica. Yulan Adane Achaga Carias the FBI will pay a reward of up to $100,000 for information that leads to the arrest of Yulan Adane Archaga Carias. In the Southern District of New York, he is facing federal charges of racketeering conspiracy, cocaine importation conspiracy, possession of machine weapons, and conspiracy to possess machine guns. In addition, as the alleged leader of MS-13 for the entirety of Honduras, Archaga Carias is said to have controlled the criminal activity of MS-13 in Honduras and provided support and resources to the MS-13 enterprise in Central America and the United States in the form of firearms, narcotics, and cash. In addition, Archaga Carias is said to have controlled the criminal activity of MS-13 in Honduras. Eugene Palmer the Federal Bureau of Investigation will pay a reward of up to $100,000 for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of Eugene Palmer. He is wanted for questioning in connection with the shooting death of his daughter-in-law, which allegedly occurred on September 24, 2012 in Stony Point in New York. Badresh Kumar Chetan by Patel The Federal Bureau of Investigation is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information that may lead to the arrest of Badresh Kumar Chetan by Patel. On April 12, 2015, when he and his wife were both working at a donut shop in Hanover, Maryland, he is wanted for the alleged murder of his wife, which he reportedly committed by striking her many times with an item. Patel was last seen in the Newark, New Jersey area according to the available information. Alejandro Rosales Castillo The Federal Bureau of Investigation will pay a reward of up to $100,000 for information that directly leads to the arrest of Alejandro Rosales Castillo. He is wanted for questioning in connection with a murder that took place in Charlotte, North Carolina in 2016. 
allegedly involving a co-worker. Castillo was seen entering into Mexico and may dwell in San Francisco de lo Romo, Aguas Calientes, or Pabellón de Artega, also in Aguas Calientes. Arnoldo Jimenez the FBI is prepared to pay a reward of up to $100,000 for information that leads to the capture of Arnoldo Jimenez. On May 12, 2012, the day after they got married, he allegedly committed murder on his wife and is now wanted for the crime. In his black, border 2006 Maserati, he is accused of stabbing to death his wife and then allegedly dragging her body into the bathtub of a residence in Burbank, Illinois. Jimenez may have escaped to the Mexican state of Durango, more especially to the Santiago Papasquaro neighborhood. He may possibly frequent Reynosa, Tamaulipas, Mexico. In the past, he called the city of Chicago, Illinois, home. Octaviano Juarez Coro Octaviano Juarez Coro was taken into custody in Mexico on the evening of February 3rd, 2022. He was wanted for questioning in connection with the homicide of two people and the attempted homicide of three other people that took place at a picnic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on May 29th, 2006. The murders and attempted murders took place on May 29th, 2006. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.